Hello, Kriks is here and welcome to this week's video. This is really special video because I actually have another version I recorded almost a year ago. Well, it's not almost, it's in April, I think. So I recorded a video where I showed favorite art supplies of mine, but a lot of things have changed and I decided to do updated version kind of ish. And this is like video of my favorite art supplies but also just art supplies I tend to use the most, my most used art supplies. Um, because there are some art supplies I really like, but I don't use them that much. So I will just mainly share what I'm using and what I like. So at the same time. So grab yourself a drink. Any drink will be fine. Um, I'm drinking black tea. I really, really, really love black tea. Um, write in the comments which is your favorite tea and yeah let's enjoy the video I think I'm gonna start with gouache so <laughs> I have like this basket which I crocheted myself some years ago and it's full of gouache um, I bought it not like in one go so it's not like <laughs> I just decided to buy like 60 different troops of gouache but uh, yeah my favorite uh, paint medium is gouache even though I love acrylics and I love watercolors I must go this to gouache I really like the properties it, it gives me oh and also like I like acrylic gouache the best um, I don't use designers gouache that often I have two brands one of the brands is called Holbein, Holbein Acryla Gouache and another one is called Turner Acryla Gouache. They both are from Japan. Um, it depends where you live. Some, some places uh, Holbein is cheaper, in some places Turner is cheaper. I like them both. I mix them both together. Uh, I also use like this um, Japanese color. Um, Siri from Turner, it's a little bit with like this gritty texture, sandy texture. Um, I like it as well, I don't mind mixing it with a uh, normal acrylic gouache. Yeah, I, I have been coloring these uh, tops of gouache. I think I did it already like in previous video a year ago. But it keeps me organized and I can like easily pick which color I need. So I found this is like perfect storage space for it. I got some in auction on eBay. I like to buy some used art supplies as well, um, especially in good quality because they tend to be quite expensive. I bought also some bigger tubes to mix my own colors and I have some favorites of them. Well, it's, it's hard to choose favorites, but um, I guess like colors I use the most. It's uh, still Turner pastel enamel color. It's super, super small amount left in here. I love this color a lot. I also, like my favorite Holbein gouache color is misty blue. I will, this is like, this is the, my liquid uh, <laughs> happiness paint tube. I don't know if that makes sense, but I love this color a lot. I, I already ran out of the first one. This is my second one. I I could buy like this in like big paint cans and use it <laughs> throughout my whole years till, till I'm like super old. So I will always, I think, love this color. It's super universal. Um, then there are like some few honorable mentions. I really like this Turner pastel olive color. I just really like this particular muted green, warm green shade. Uh, so I just love how it looks. And also I love this uh, yellow green from Japanese series. It's, <laughs> it's super thin. There is almost nothing inside left. So I just love this kind of green color. There are still like a lot of, I, I love ash green and all the ash colors and misty colors. So it's, just really hard to choose. Um, there is one <laughs> acrylic color which is in, in this basket and it's from Liquitex. 
Uh, this is heavy body acrylic paint in parchment color. I just really really love this parchment color. So it's here. I I am mixing it with acrylic gouache. Nothing wrong happened yet. <laughs> I used it in my picture book which I was working on for last like five months. So this was really good color for me. Uh, but yeah, this is my gouache basket. I forgot to mention this before, but uh, I'm using this slow drying medium by Amsterdam and uh, I'm using it with gouache sometimes. I also discovered it in last year. I think one of you commented in my post to you to try use medium together with gouache. And this is great to making paints more transparent so I can layer them in several layers. So this is the only medium I'm currently using. We'll see, maybe I will experiment with them in the future, but for now this is a great way to make paint transparent and so it dries longer than it's supposed to dry. Okay, so if you've been following my journey for the last couple of months, you know that I really love Molotov markers. These are acrylic paint markers, although I'm using different kind of brands, for acrylic paint markers, this is my favorite brand. And one of the reasons is that you can refill them. And I am having, I think 10 of these small bottle refills. I could buy like bigger tubes. I, I'm not sure if I will want to invest that much, but maybe in the future I will have bigger sizes. And I just love these colors. These, <laughs> it was hard to choose, but this is like my top five, so. So yeah, like natural white, lobster, yellow ochre, Amazon's light and lago blue pastel. Uh, these are my top, top five. But I love, I love almost all of the colors. They have some bright colors, but uh, I'm really into nu neutrals. So these are, I think for all the brands, these are the most interesting shades they have as well. Um, but I, I am using different brands and for Liquitex, my two favorites are parchment color and, and bleached titanium. So these are the colors I use a lot as well. Um, one thing I don't like about Liquitex nibs is sometimes I'm breaking them because if I'm pressing too hard, um, the nibs are quite soft so they can tear apart. So it happened to like four or three markers of mine. So yeah, there are pros and cons to this one. And some days they're not opaque, they're a little bit transparent, um, but I still use them. So, and also from Posca, these are my most used colors. One is beige, I use it for light skin tones and other one is light orange and I use it for cheekbones. That is like the only purpose of this color. Just for cheekbones. Yeah, speaking of mixing colors, I like to mix my own colors. Uh, and throughout the last year, I was getting into mixing my own color shades from acrylic paint markers because there were still colors I wanted to have and they weren't, they didn't exist. So I created my own colors. I think in this year I will still make more of colors so if you're interested to seeing more color mixing videos with Molotov paint markers let me know in the comments down below so yeah these are the some colors I pre-mixed this is like um, my second used medium I would say I'm using it 
alone and mixing together with gouache, with other mediums. I like it a lot. So I'm also, I recently discovered this masking tape and it's really nice to use it with gouache, watercolors, even acrylic based markers. So it's nice to have like this place which will not be affected if I will put it over with something. So yeah, I like this. I use it quite well as well. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> so I have a lot of pencils. I am currently having some that are displayed for me to easy to reach. So in like some baskets. And these are like colors I tend to use the most. And I'm also having uh, like this huge pencil case with other colors. I don't use that much, but uh, they are here. So some brighter tones, maybe some shades I don't like that much. So all the colors I'm using, I'm storing them in different way. Um, it's hard to choose like my favorite brand. I am using a lot of different brands. I think like if I had to choose like one set or brand, I really like Derwin drawing pencils. Uh, I got these ones in 2018. Um, as you can see, it's like a lot of them are super small because I've been using them a lot. Uh, I have been repurchasing some of them. Uh, I think it's like the best muted set out there in the market. Um, I like them a lot. So if I had to choose, but in general, I'm having like these uh, different storage places for them. And what I'm putting is, uh, so I have several yellow ochre colors. I have this container where I'm storing my ivory slash uh, super light pastel yellow colors. Also some super muted light greens, some middle tone greens and some darker greens. So this is like this storage. I'm storing all my browns in this lovely William Morris cup, which I accidentally broke. I'm storing some blues in here and some grays in another William Morris mug, mug, cup. I don't know. <laughs> um, I think like if I had to choose my top three, not per se like favorite colors, but colors I use the most, I use ginger wood a lot uh, by Prismacolor. I got spares from Natasha Newton, thank you. But yeah, I love this color a lot. It's by far most used, but also one of the favorite ones. I'm also using this um, Cloud Blue by Derwent Colorsoft. Uh, yeah, it's quite small as well, no? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> this is so funny. So I, I, there's one color called uh, Salmon Pink from Holbein Pencils, and I'm only using this for cheekbones and for nose. 
<laughs> but I use it every single time almost. So this is like my cheek slash nose color. <laughs> I really like using pencils to add like texture on top of my illustrations, especially like if I'm combining gouache color and on top I'm adding quite similar color, but adding like this extra like cherry on top. <laughs> Okay, next thing. Okay, let's talk about paint palettes. So in the last video in April, I showed that I'm using ceramic paint palette and now I have a little bit more ceramic palettes, but yeah, it's still dirty <laughs> because I, I don't clean my palettes every single time. So I have it in both sides. I use this side as well. I didn't use it in the beginning. Now I'm using it as, as well. I realized like it's not like my perfect palette. I would love to have another one in the future because I feel like these are too deep for me. And it's really hard to clean if I am cleaning them by any chance. Uh, so I would love to have a little bit bigger and with less depth into these ones. Uh, I also got a present from my friend Jenya and she made these ones by herself. And this one is broken, but I am using it anyways. So yeah, these are really lovely. And I'm using them a little bit chaotically. Uh, sometimes one, sometimes another one. Sometimes I clean them, sometimes I'm not. This is their life and yeah, how I treat them. Probably I needed to clean them every time, but I just don't do it every time. So a big part of my illustration process is uh, using these mechanical pencils for sketching. Um, in the last video I showed that I'm using some pencils with uh, wooden cores. Um, not anymore. I'm using this thicker mechanical pencil, which is really nice. I really like it. It's, um, I think it's a 2B pencil or something like that. And then I'm using 0.5 millimeter another pencil. I use them before final illustrations. I sketch everything with them and sometimes to add extra details and uh, line work I'm adding them on top as well. I'm also using this mechanical eraser from Brand Deli. Uh, so this is also one of the used ones and I'm also using just simple erasers. I think this is from Tombow Brand but anything that I have in my rather I'm just grabbing it. <laughs> so yeah, these are the tools that are really important to me. I wasn't like mechanical pencil kind of person, but now I couldn't imagine living without mechanical pencils. So I really, really appreciate these ones in my life. Okay, the next part for the writing and sometimes uh, drawing part. This is something I I got only recently, like two months ago. Uh, so I don't know how it will go throughout this year, but so far I'm loving them. I am using fountain pens and I have two fountain pens now. I don't know how I didn't buy more than two, <laughs> which is really great and interesting. But I have two different brands. I wanted to try them out and see which one I like the best. So I have Lamy Safari in Savannah green color, 
which is a 2021 edition. And I think it's like from 80s. The color version is from 80s or something like that. And then I have Caveco Pebrio or Perkeo. And this is, I forgot, I think it's Lagoon Blue or something like that. So I, I like them both. They both have fine nib. And uh, I'm using both both of them right now. I have both full with color. And I think my favorite color so far, which I have, is this diamond called El Grey. It's such a gorgeous color. It's not like classic gray. It's like gray with like a twist because it's like a little bit violety, a little bit bluish, a little bit reddish. So it's really interesting shade. And also on my Lamy, I'm currently using Ferris wheel pressing and I am obsessed with this color. This is a most part green. I'm gonna show it to you in the close up, but it's such a gorgeous shade. It's definitely in my top two now. I don't know, maybe I will get more colors. I feel like what I discovered in 2021 and has been successful is fo definitely fountain pens. I really like using them. I am like writing in my planner with fountain pens and sometimes I'm sketching with fountain pens and I just really love the feel of them. Okay, so pencil sharpeners. I'm still using the same box from last year. Uh, I am keeping three different sharpeners inside. And whenever I need to sharpen pencils, I'm sharpening inside this box. And then I'm just closing it. And that's it. It's super effective for me. I haven't found better option than this one. So I'm really happy that I have this mini box. For the brushes, I still love short brushes. I think my favorite still are Princeton Select brushes. I just really love them. I like Da Vinci brand as well, so nothing changed there that much. Okay, so if I'm traveling, I am using this Tombow traveling pouch. I like this pouch because there are several compartments for markers or brushes or fountain pens and I can just store them inside like that and also here is like mini place which I can open and add pencils or erasers anything to be honest so a lot of things can go inside here and if I'm grabbing paints with me I'm using like these <laughs> sorry it's dirty I am using these plastic sheets which are really great hack by the way if you have like these plastic sheets, you can use them as a paint palettes on the go and just wash them or yeah, reuse them. I am definitely reusing them, so a lot of colors in here as well. <laughs> but yeah, this is great for traveling. Let's talk about sketchbooks. So I currently, I really love Moleskin. Um, I think in last... Last year I said that I really like sea white as well, but I don't use it now that often because I I have some empty Moleskine sketchbooks and I am using them for a lot of things, a lot of purposes. I'm doing final artworks in them and I'm also sketching and I just really love this feeling of this paper. Uh, so this is like my favorite, one of my favorite sketchbooks. I also love pit supply sketchbooks. I uh, I don't use my Oro Blanco that often, but I have this Yuzu Flex sketchbook, um, which is amazing. I love it 
so much. I am using it uh, for my observational drawings and although I thought it will not be perfect paper for acrylic paint markers, it's, it's like a miracle because it works quite well and I love, I love this paper. I think when I will finish this sketchbook I will buy another one or maybe two, I don't know. But I really like this uh, pit supply and I also like the the idea they are having behind our business. So And it's UK business so I want to support local businesses as well. So these two are my favorites for now. For the final illustrations, uh, when I'm working on picture book, when I'm doing some portfolio artworks, I love this paper. So I have like big size now, but it's amazing paper. So smooth, heavyweight, Dalel Dunnell Rolney paper. Um, I, I love this paper. It's perfect for my needs because I don't use a lot of watercolors. It's perfect for gouache perfect for acrylic markers, for acrylic, uh, perfect for pencils. It's just everything I need. <laughs> so it's really amazing. I had this paper in A3 before. I ran out of it and I decided to buy A2 size papers so I can cut them myself. It was a little bit cheaper that way. So I didn't mind. I have also guillotine, so I didn't mind to cut it here. About the color book. I think <laughs> last year I showed I'm using this uh, swatching color book a lot. I had like a lot of swatches there and everything like that. I'm still looking sometimes to it. Uh, I also have like separate sheets of paper for different swatches. I have them a lot. I maybe should organize it a little bit better. Uh, I started like new color book which is bigger size. And I thought to have it like as a color diary uh, for my studio. I didn't feel it properly, but I started doing like my gouache collection and I did also acrylic marker collection some time ago. So we'll see if I will have time to do it. But this was like my, my idea. I, I really like swatching, <laughs> so... Um. I have loved swatching art supplies for a long time. I think that's mostly it. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed watching my favorite art supplies of 2022 updated version. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. If you are new here, um, hello, <laughs> you can subscribe to my channel uh, to see more videos and follow my journey. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day, evening morning wherever you are and i will see you next time okay bye bye okay <laughs>